Have you got results oriented thinking? By that, I mean, are you making the number on the scales or your fitness or your results in a competition or the amount of money in your bank account mean something about you? I wanted to share these thoughts with you today. I really want to ask this question because I'm seeing this a lot with a lot of my weight loss clients at the moment, where I'm seeing many people see a number on the scale and then decide to make it mean something about them as a person. Have you ever done that? You know, maybe you've gotten on the scale and you've seen it go down and you've gone, great, I'm doing it right, it's going well, I'm successful, um, I'm good at this. Or maybe you've gotten on the scale and seen it go up and felt disheartened or discouraged. Maybe you've said things like, I'm, that's frustrating, I've done everything right, I deserve it. Or I'm no good at this. I'm hopeless, I'm not going to get there. Um, I can't do it. And notice in all of those, questions, those, those thoughts, those comments, you're making it mean something about you. I'm going to offer for you today that that's a really unhelpful way to live. It actually doesn't actually move you forward towards your goals. I see so many people get so caught up on the result that they forget about the process. They forget about all of the habits, the routines that they've been creating, even ones they've been enjoying and um, exploring and, and getting the benefit of in their life. And they forget about all of the things that still need changing, that you want to change next, that could still be improved. Whenever we get focused on the result instead of the process, we get stuck. Because I, I contend that we're focusing on the wrong thing. And so today, I want to offer this idea but what if you could just allow the number, the amount of money in your bank account, <laughs> the amount of weight you can lift, the distance you can run, or the number on the scale today, be emotionally neutral? What if it's just the fact? It's where it is for you at this moment in time. Just think about that. How useful is it to you to know that exact number for one particular moment in time? I can hear some of you going, oh, it's very useful. I can, you know, I can see whether I'm on the right track or I'm on the, on the wrong, or I'm off track, how I'm doing, how I'm performing. No, you can only see those things if you're looking at a pattern or a trend over time. Not the particular result you got that time, that one time, in that instance. It's looking at the idea that there's always something we can improve if we want to, if we want to be changing our life. And there's always something we've done well. I hear so many people get frustrated and go, either I, they've done everything well and didn't get a result, or had one little setback and, and have said, oh, I'm not doing anything well. And I think both of those two things are lies. It's just not true. It's just a result. It's just one piece of information. It's just one piece of feedback. It doesn't say anything about you as a person. I really want you to consider that. What if you didn't need the result? You didn't need the money or the, um, the uh, fitness milestone, the PB, or you didn't need a particular number on the scales to tell you whether you're on track, whether you're being successful, whether you're worthy of success. What if you just decided that you're worthy of success right now? And by the way, I think that's true. 
I think every single one of us deserves to be living the life we want. And I do think it's available to us. So what if you thought that you were and, and believed that you were capable of success right now, regardless of the current result? What if you believed that you were successful now, regardless of the current result? What if you were a person who creates success in your life? I think these are much more useful thoughts rather than spending time and energy fretting, worrying, complaining, moaning about a particular result. All of that energy, all that focus could be going into the process. It could be going into creating the life you want. It could be going into time being spent believing that this is possible for you. I think that's a much better use of your time. Yes, I think you should reflect. Yes, I think self-evaluation is important. We should be able to look back and go, what am I doing that's working for my life? What's improving the quality of my life? What's moving me towards the goal that I want? What am I doing to get in the way of that? What am I doing to undermine my success? What am I doing that's creating um, a quality of life that I don't want. Awareness is key of all of those things. But the result is almost irrelevant. Because in the end, we want to be living that life that we want to be living. And we do that by actually practicing the skills, the techniques, the tools, the habits to create that life. The more we practice them, the more it becomes our life. The more time we spent beating ourselves up or doubting or um, going, oh, I'm doing so well. Uh, look at that great result. Now I deserve a reward. <laughs> I get to go have the thing that undermines that success. Let's lose all of that. Let's stop making it mean stuff about us. You are already worthy. You are already lovable. You have all the wisdom and capability and strength that you need already. And if you want to create change in your life, you can create it right now. But it's not through looking at the result. It's through looking at the process. Anytime you notice that you're not practicing the healthy habits that you want in your life, don't spend any time beating yourself up about it. Just notice it. Make it emotionally neutral. Just say, eh, it's a fact. Oh, I haven't been doing the thing I want. I did this thing that didn't work. Okay. No big deal. Doesn't matter either way. What matters is what we do about it now. What do you want to be doing in your life? Can you care for yourself enough to allow the result to just be emotionally neutral? Can you care for yourself enough to go, that's okay, I believe in my success. My success isn't any, in any doubt because of this. I'm just going to move on and do it. <laughs> my coach talks a little bit about this like um, in self-confidence. The idea of being able to pour a glass of water. You know, I think most of us would feel pretty confident that we'd be successful in pouring a glass of water. But from time to time, maybe you've gotten that wrong. Maybe you've spilt the glass. You ever done that? Maybe you missed the glass or overfilled. Maybe it slipped out of your hand and you didn't fill the glass successfully. You don't make that mean anything. It doesn't mean we're a bad person or we're no good. Uh, we don't believe that we're not capable of filling a glass with water. We simply stop and refill it. We move on. We focus on the process. I bet you we probably pay more attention to how we do it that time. <laughs> Make sure the glass is steady. Make sure the, the water is pouring into the vessel and we're stopping in time. Notice the focus on the process, not on the result. That is the key. In the end, 
anytime you notice that you're not having that practice, you're not focusing on um, the, the practice of those healthy habits, those successful habits, then know that that's simply an invitation for you to recommit to the future you want, to re-decide in the moment that it's worth your effort to practice those healthy routines. You can choose differently than making it mean something about you. So I really want you to consider that. Can you stop wasting time on making a good result meaning uh, that you're good, that you're successful, and stop making a bad result mean that you're bad and you're no good and you're not successful? And instead, just going, the results will be what they are. And if I create the change, if I practice the skills and the habits that I want to be practicing, that moves me towards the life I want to be living, then eventually I'll just be living it. There's a quote I love here that says, it is not in achieving a result that we change our life. It is in changing ourselves to create a life that includes the result we want. Really want you to hear that. I really want you to think about it. So often we think about when we get to our goal, when we reach that milestone, when we have a certain amount of money, when we get the promotion, then we'll be happy. Then we'll be living the life that we want. Then all of our problems will be solved. But the truth is, we come with us <laughs> to wherever we're going in life, to whatever destination we reach. We're going with us. And life is a, a balance. It's all about, um, you know, research shows that you're roughly always going to be roughly as happy as you are now. Now, that's not to say that you can't improve it. Uh, Martin Seligman, Seligman and the whole positive psychology movement, there's great research to show that you can improve your happiness and your well-being through action. But in the end, it's not getting there that's going to make you happy. It's doing the work that's going to create the happiness, that's going to create the life you want. And in the end, you'll get the result. So. Are you being the person you need to be to do the activities that create the life you want? And if you aren't, how could you change that on purpose? Just because you want to, just because it might be fun, just because it works better. I invite you into that conversation with yourself today and go, do you know what? Wherever I am, that's just where I am at the moment. Doesn't mean anything good or bad. And if I want to change, I can do that. Pick one thing and have a practice. I'd love to know what process, what habit you're going to focus on now to start to create the life you want, what can you believe to be the person who's living that life? I'd love to know. So please share with me in the comments uh, if you're watching this uh, either live or on replay. If you're live, hi, great to see you. Glad you could join us today. If you're watching a replay, hi, great to see you. Um, give me a like, give me a follow. And let me know if this was useful for you. Have you ever made the result mean something? And will you now simply just make it neutral? Remember that if you do want some more help, particularly with your weight, you find that you're sabotaging your weight loss or that you don't know how to get into this mindset. Know that I've got some free trainings coming up early in September. I've got some great webinars about the traps to avoid if you want to be successful with your weight loss. And my course, Stop Sabotaging Your Weight Loss, is reopening for enrollments in September. So let's change those thinking, um, those thoughts. Let's become a person who never sabotages, who overcomes emotional eating. If that'd be useful for you, go to livemorelife.com.au, 
click on Stop Sabotaging Your Weight Loss and join the wait list so you get notified as soon as the doors open. Until then, have an amazing day and I look forward to talking to you again soon.